Great day everyone! Welcome back again to Ram's Tutorial. If you are new here in my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you are updated on my latest videos. Today class, we are going to discuss another episode. Welcome back again to Ram's Tutorial. Great day everyone! Welcome back to Ram's Tutorial. Today we are going to discuss about conversion of metric linear measurement. Remember class, the basic unit of length in the metric system in the meter. The units of length most commonly used include the meter, centimeter, millimeter, and kilometer. Questions. How is linear measurements measured? It's up to you that are measured by linear measurements are length, height, width, and distance. Chiram, why is conversion important? Conversion class rate optimization is important because it allows you to lower your customer acquisition cost by getting more value from the visitors and users. You'll really have by optimizing your conversion rate and you can increase revenue per visitor, acquire more customers and grow your business. So now class, let's proceed to our what are called uh, reminders. We have phrase in our uh, conversions we have first note first that to convert a larger unit to a smaller unit we're going to multiply it in converting smaller unit to to a larger unit we're going to divide it so for example it's number one eight meter to centimeter so meter to centimeter Remember class, we are going to uh, convert if it is a smaller unit or larger unit class, we are going to multiply it. So meter to centimeter. So we are going to multiply by 100. 8 times 100. So in mental class, 8 times 1 is 8. And then 8 times 0 is 0. 8 times 0 is 0. The answer is 800. The right answer for 8 meter to centimeter. We have 800 centimeter. Another we have 54 inches is equivalent to 400 feet. Why? Because we're going to divide, divide 54 divide 12. So the answer is 4.5. How? So we're going to divide 54 divide 12. Remember class in divisions, it says right first 4. 4 times 12, the answer is Okay, so 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 1 is 4, so we have 4 is 4 to 8, so we're going to 4 borrow to 5, so 13, so we're going to subtract it, so the answer is 6, so we are going to add 0, so point, decimal point, so this is 60, divide 12, we have 5, times 12, the answer is 60, and that is how we get 4.5 in 54 inches how many feet so the answer is 4.5 because we are going to divide it remember to divide smaller unit to a larger unit class okay let's proceed to our formula in length we have 12 inches 1 foot 36 inches 1 yard 5280 feet 1 mile 1760 yards 1 mile for metric linear measurements, 1 m or 1 meter is 10 dam or 10 decimeter rather. Next, 1 meter is equivalent to 100 centimeters. 1 meter is equivalent to 1000 millimeters. Next, we have 1 decameter is equivalent to 10 meters. 1 hectometer is equivalent to 100 meters. 1 kilometer is equivalent to 100 meters class. So remember in conversions, we should master the what you call formula first. Okay, so metric linear measurements, 1 meter is equivalent to 10 decimeter or dm. 1 meter is equivalent to 100 centimeters. 1 meter is equivalent to 1,000 millimeters or mm. 1 dam or decameter is equivalent to 10 meters. 1 hecto or hm, hectometers is equivalent to 100 meters. 1 kilometer is equivalent to 1000 
meters. Okay, for length again class, 12 inches equivalent to 1 foot. 36 inches is equivalent to 1 yard. 5,285 is equivalent to 1 mile. 1,760 yards is equivalent to 1 mile. This is what we call talking about metric linear measurements in conversion. Because again, converting a large unit to a smaller one, multiply it plus. Converting smaller unit to a larger unit, divide it. Okay, Charam, we have a drill? Yes, we have it. Here we go. Our drills now is, we are going to answer, convert the following class from 1 to 10. So let's start with number 1. Three four is equivalent to how many inches? So now class, remember foot in inches. So we're going to this is larger. So we are going to what we call uh, multiply it. So three four how many inches? So remember in three four we have in inches we have twelve. So we are going to multiply it. Twelve times three. Two times three class six. One times three is. Three. Therefore our answer is. 36 inches next number two how many 24 inches in foot so remember we have in one foot we have 12 inches so we're going to divide it 24 divide 12 so we have 2 times 12 is 24 therefore our answer is we have 2 foot okay 24 inches equivalent to 24. Next, 2 mile, how many feet? So remember, we are going to multiply it because remember, in 1 feet is 5,208. In 1,760 mile, so we're going to convert it to what we call to a particular mile. 1,760 is equivalent to 1 mile only. Okay, two miles is equivalent to how many yards? So we have first 1,760 times two. <coughs> this will be our answer. 3,520. Next, number six, we have three meters equivalent to how many decimeters? So we're going to multiply it because in meter we have 10 what we call decimeters. So we are going to multiply the 10 times three. The answer is 30. 200 centimeters. How many meter? <coughs> We're going to divide it by 100 class. 200 divide 100. So we have 2, 1, 0, 2, two. Okay, our answer is 200 centimeters equivalent to 2 meters. Next, what about your random is equivalent to how many meters? So remember, in when the cemetery is equivalent to 10 meters. 200 meters equivalent for how many hectares? So we're going to divide 200 by 100 class. Our answer is 2 hectometers. Now for last is 3 kilometers. How many meters? So remember class. We are going to divide it by 1,000. We are going to multiply it by 1,000 because 1 kilometers, uh, yeah, okay, it's equivalent to 1,000 meters. So we're going to divide it, one multiply it rather, 1,000 times 3 kilometers. So there are 1,000 in meters. So multiply it. 0, 0. So our answer is 3,000.
Okay, a number three class. Two mile, how many feet? Sorry, I forget it. Two mile, how many feet? So we're going to write it 5,280. Okay, that's 5,280 class equivalent to one mile. So we're going to multiply that by two. 16, 5, 10. So the answer is 10,560 feet class. Okay. Remember, in doing this conversion class, although our teachers will guide us, of course, we have what we call uh, different equivalent for length and metric linear measurements. All you have to do is you are going to what we call uh, check first your equivalent and whether just divide or multiply that. Okay, that is how you are going to use metric linear measurement or converting it the following from inches to meter. Uh, inches to yard, feet to mile, yards to mile, etc. So, once again, class, good day and so long, class, and thank you for watching again to Ram's tutorial blog. God bless us, everyone. Happy weekend!